structure earlier times we were uh, using load bearing structures so now we are switching over to frame structure so let us uh, first of all understand what is the meaning of frame and how it look like so you can see a picture which is of rc frame structure and there are various component of the structure if we start from the bottom then the, uh, from this sketch we can able to understand that lowest portion is the foundation so foundation is one element or one component of the structure and above this foundation you will be able to see that some column type of structures are there so they are vertical members which are generally considered to be under compression so they are vertical member these are columns and uh, after that uh, you can see that there is one horizontal member which is supported by column so that member is generally called as beam <coughs> and above the beams above the structure of these various number of beams slab is supported so another component is slab and uh, similarly there are various number of columns beam slabs as well as foundation part so that ultimate goal of designing a structure or constructing a structure is so whatever be the superstructure that load can be easily transferred to the substructure part and ultimately to the soil safely so let us uh, just go through the definition part the rc frame structure generally consists of various structural components or members such as beams column slab and foundation which we can uh, easily see in the diagram as well as can easily understand that what is the meaning of foundation beam slab and as well as column now in general a reinforced concrete beam also termed as rcc in a very common language we say rcc so rcc mean reinforced cement concrete so cement is one of the component of uh, concrete uh, that will be having the binding properties so any term you can uh, if you are replacing cement so accordingly the terminology may change but in general we will talk rcc beam and very important aspect of beam is primarily it is subjected to flexure flexure mean bending and it is supporting the slab so as you know that if there is a column structure column is generally considered as a compression member it will be subjected to compressive stresses compressive forces and depending upon the location of the load whether it is along the axis of the column or it has some eccentricities so accordingly there may be some bending may also occur and in case of rcc beam we generally consider that it will be subjected to bending that is it will be under flexure so that's a very important aspect of uh, today's lecture is that we have to discuss the behavior of any beam under flexure similarly uh, beams because slabs are supported above the beam so beam will be acting as a support to the slab and slabs are also generally or predominantly we can say it is subjected to flexure it is subjected to bending column and walls may be subjected to flexure and uh, as already illustrator that if there is any eccentric type of load or any little pressure is acting on the columns or the walls some bending may be happen so that means they may be subjected to some flexure also otherwise they are in general considered as column considered as a compression member <coughs> now beams uh, support the loads which is due to the slabs which it support as well as their own self weight 
and other forces which may be like any internal movement, any shear, bending, etc. So various type of uh, effects on a beam can be considered depending on the loading pattern. That means what type of load it is supporting, what pattern of load it is supporting. Now let us uh, first of all try to understand what is the meaning of analysis and what is the meaning of design. So when we are talking about the term or we are referring term analysis of a member, analysis of a structure. So basically what is the purpose analysis? So analysis refers to the evaluation or calculation or estimating the capacity of a structural member to resist the effect of various loads or movements to which it may be subjected based on its geometry that means what is the cross section dimensions what is the length etc span so what are the geometry uh, of that particular member and from which material it is made up of whether it is of concrete of uh, <coughs> grade m20 m30 etc or it is uh, made up of a high strength uh, concrete so accordingly based on the geometrical dimensions as well as the material type material properties we will be able to analyze that when some particular uh, set of loading is acting on the members so what will be the effect of uh, those loads just as movements as well as shear force etc so that uh, capacity of the member to resist whether it is able to resist or not so all these information we can get uh, by doing the analysis of the structural member or particularly structure so analysis for analysis you can refer is code I have mentioned some of the guidelines that means what are the various methods of analysis which you can refer now let us uh, briefly discuss about what is the meaning of design so that we should uh, never get confused in the meaning of the design so design means working out the depth, breadth, etc. That means uh, to work out what are the dimensions of the cross section of the member and uh, reinforcement details which we are going to use in case of RCC structure. So reinforcement details for the member to safely and economically resist the external applied load. So purpose of design is very first is it is the safety of the structure in throughout its life as well as when you are uh, going to do the design so your design must be economical it should be economical we can say it must be safe and it should be economical whenever the same any external loads are acting on it so this is the difference between the analysis and design in design part we are working out the dimensions as well as deciding the material and uh, in analysis what we are doing we are checking the capacity so during the design of any rcc structure we will be doing some of the calculation related to the design aspect and some of the calculation we will be doing towards the analysis so they will uh, 